So in polynomial functions, f of x is the dependent variable, and x is independent, right? Like a miles, miles per hour, the miles depend on the hours. So the miles would be the f of x, x is independent, which in that case would be time or hours. And so sometimes you're going to ask us to solve for f of some number. Okay, remember that's not a hashtag. That is a number sign. Sorry if that confuses you. Maybe that's a generational thing. I don't know. But uh, whatever the case, right, they're going to say solve for f of 3 and f of x equals x plus 1. Right? That's just an example of what you'll see. But let's do an actual example. Here we go. So here is a word problem. Uh, notice they did give us the function, though, which was very generous of them. Let's read this just to be, cons uh, well, precise, I guess. For a club, <coughs> excuse me, consisting of P people, the number of ways N in which a president, vice president, and treasurer can be elected can be determined using the following function. N of P, the number of ways depends on the people, equals 2 times p cubed minus 5p squared plus 2p. The club has two members, 21 members, sorry. And how many ways can they elect a president, vice president, and treasurer? And so, since it tells us that the club has 21 members, that's, well, that's the number of people. So it's really just asking us to solve for n of p, but p is, in this case, 21. They don't always write that stuff either, right? P equals, and maybe it's helpful for you to write that. I don't know. So let's write this thing out. We got 2 times P cubed minus 5P squared plus 2P. But I'll make this a different color so it kind of makes a little bit more sense. We're going to replace all the P's with 21. So this P as well, and this one. You guys have had plenty of experience doing this, uh, just maybe not so much with the exponent stuff. Well, I'm going to need a calculator for this. All right, now I just squared and cubed those, those two 21s just to stay consistent with the order of operations. Some of you know that you could have multiplied the 2 and 21. Because, as it turns out, exponents is just another form of multiplication. So, let's give ourselves some more space. Alright, so when we do the multiplication, that's what we get. Thank you, that is minus. And this is something we could punch directly into the calculator. So that's what I'm going to do to solve this. There we go. So, 16,359 ways that they can elect a president, vice president, and treasurer with just 21 people. Well, that's pretty nifty. I mean, it's just pretty much plug and chug on that, right? So that's all we did.